Okay, hi guys. Today we're basically going to be talking about the Reconstruction Amendments. Um, this is in Chapter 16. Mostly starts in Section 2 of Chapter 16, and they are called the Reconstruction Amendments. Um, happened during and right after Reconstruction because uh, these were uh, amendments that helped uh, the African Americans, um, once former the freedmen, the once former slaves. So we're going to talk about the Thirteenth Amendment first. Um, well, so if we went to the amendment section in your book, which actually is on page 1021, you'd find the 13th Amendment. And what it says is, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, which means uh, working, uh, forced work, forced labor, um, except as a punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Wah, 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 right? Okay. What do I want you to know about the 13th Amendment? That it abolished slavery. That's what I want you to know about the 13th Amendment. Okay? And what letter does that amendment start with? A. And we're going to come back to that in a little bit. So just remember that I want you to know and remember A, which stands for Abolish Slavery for the 13th Amendment. Okay, so now we're on to the, we are on to the 14th Amendment. And uh, just say hi to Mr. Wells real quick because he doesn't hey, want, guys, he doesn't want hey, to hey, what's you know, up? So, so, you know, he's, he's here to help me with this. Um, he's much more tech savvy than I am. But the 14th Amendment, okay, do we want to go through the 14th Amendment? Um, well, not really. Look at all this. I'm not going to even bother reading that to you guys because let's go back and look at what I want you to know for the 14th Amendment. Okay. Okay, so now we're back to the 14th Amendment, the one I just X'd out because that's a lot of wah, 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 wah again, right? So look at the 14th Amendment here and you can see what do you think that I want you to know about the 14th Amendment? All people born in the United in the US, the United States, are citizens with equal protection, which means equal protection of our laws and everything. Okay, but what's really important here? What's important here is that all born, okay? You see that? Everyone born in the United States. So we have an A, we have a B. Like I said, we're gonna to come to that later. But what do I want you to know? People that are born here are going to be citizens of the United States. The 14th Amer uh, Amendment guarantees them that. Okay? Okay, the 15th Amendment, all right, which is also in Section 2. It's on page 556 in your book. Or if you so wish to look at the very advanced uh, and longer version, which is in the back of the book on page 1023, it is says the rights of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude, which is what we said before, is forced labor, basically. But the 15th Amendment, what do I really want you to know about the 15th Amendment? Well, now we come to this part, where I've got um, this nice little, for you, I have the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, a, B, V. It's kind of like thinking about your ABCs. This is A, B, V. Okay? So what does the 15th Amendment says no one? Because of what color they are, it doesn't matter, black, blue, yellow, green, purple. They, if they are a citizen, okay, we established that we know that anyone born here is a citizen. So if they are a citizen, they are allowed to vote in this country. So... What do we have? We have ABV, just like our ABC. So all I want you to know is, A, remember, abolish. Right? And I am terrible at spelling with my finger, okay? Or not spelling, but writing. And B is born. I'm very good at this. And V is vote. So what do I really want you to know about these reconstruction amendments or these amendments is and you will have to remember these I guarantee they will be on your test so you'll need to know them 13th 14th 15th they go in order so do our ABCs A B V abolish slavery born if you're born here you're a citizen so that gives them C 
citizenship rights. And if you're a citizen, you get to vote. So those are your amendments. And that is an easy way with my little act.